Hi guys and gals, it's John Emily. from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hooray! Record Store Day list is out. Woo! If you haven't sent us your request, go on to recordstoreday.com and do that. This is really the, we've, we already had to get one order in, small order, um, kind of a limited distributor, but the big distributors I have to order next week. So as much as you can tell us this week about what you want, let us know. Big drop today, uh, Noah Khan, Olivia Rodrigo, live at the BBC, beautiful 12 inch colored vinyl. Seven inch. Is it just a seven inch? I think it's a, I think it's a pretty sure okay. it's a 12 inch. So, but, I've been wrong. I don't know. Go to recordstoreday.com. Find out. Let us know. Um, but if you want one of those messages, everything is first come, first serve on April 20th, though. So we can't hold it for you, but it at least lets us know what to order, which is super, super important. Uh, so we're back to almost normal here on the record or, or on the on the normal new release records. We've got about 30 to show you today. So we're going to get cracking right now with Hooray for the Riff Raff. The past is still alive. The follow-up to the acclaimed non-such debut, Life on Earth, which landed on Best of 2022 list from the New York Times, Rolling Stone, NPR, Mojo, Uncut, among others, sees the band reunite with Brad Cook while further expanding their creative class of, cast of collaborators. Connor Oberst and S.G. Goodman all join Alinda Segarra on vocals at various points throughout the LP. This is on Translucent Orange Crush. And further sweeten the pot check out this we have a signed poster a really nice large poster uh we've got a, a couple pre-orders but we have a couple of these left so if you want one um uh, message or call us at 757-962-1996 and we'll set you up next up we have idols finally tank the word pronounced tank with a whiff of the g began as an Bunk. onomatopoeic Good. reference in studio for the sound of a guitar tone but it has grown into a sigil for living in love. At its core, it's an album, it's a love album, open to anyone who requires something to shout out loud in order to fend off any encroaching sense of the void, now or forever. Many translucent flavors, pink, orange, yellow, plus CD. One of these is deluxe, and the CD is in my eye. There it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, we got Mr. Neil Young, or Young Neil, if you're a fan of uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, Crazy Horse, Doom, this 16-song album from 1975, was recorded during the Zuma sessions and includes tracks and outtakes from Zuma. For the first time on vinyl, this indie exclusive edition includes a litho of the album cover. What a great record. I'm sure those outtakes are amazing. Next up, we have Bad Brains, the Amiga Sessions. The five-song EP was recorded in 1980 and released in 97. The tracks were recorded and mixed at the original Omega Recording Studios in Rockville, Maryland. The EP contains early versions of the songs that eventually appeared on later releases, including Eye Against Eye, Pressed on Emerald Haze. It includes a lyric sleeve, and Side B features custom etching. Next up, I don't know how, but they found me, Gloom Division. Their second album is a glimpse into the mind of disco panicker Dallin Weeks, this most autobiographical works to date leaves listeners with the same sense of euphoric fascination that sparked the album's creation on limited edition indie exclusive orange cream swirl i like the term disco panicker disco panicker That's i nice. like it next up is laura jane grace holding my head according to pitchfork with a solo album of playfully retro punk songs the against me singer lets her hair down but never loses sight of the stakes press on hot pink with free album download I kind of feel like a disco panicker right now. I got the disco ball back there. Kind of, kind panicking. of in a sense of panic, so <laughs> I'm there. Uh, neck Deep, Life's Not Out to Get to You, the sophomore album from the Welsh pop punk band, originally released in 2015, includes the bops December, Can't, Can't Kick Up the Roots, and Gold Steps, pressed on blood red wax for 30 years of hopeless records. Next, we have Amigo the Devil, yours until the war is over. The next chapter of Danny Kiranos continues with his most disarming singular and singular work to date. Riddled with obscure literary references akin to Kiranos' maniac reading habit, the album proves that this whole Amigo the Devil thing isn't some true crime niche on indie-exclusive white and black squirrel. You're gonna like this one. BTS, Love Yourself, Tear. For the first time ever, their highly successful mini album is now available on vinyl, featuring the group's hit songs Fake Love and The Truth Untold, featuring Steve Aoki. It landed on the top of the charts across the globe upon its original release in 2018. It includes a 12-inch white vinyl, outer sleeve, booklet, hologram, photo card set, postcard, and sticker set. Look at all that shiny all stuff. It's rare to see 
the BTS on the wax. Wait, I'm gonna let you read this one. Oh, oh, I'll do this. Hey, oh, okay. it's one of my, <laughs> I'll do it right now. This is one of my favorite artists of all time. Prince, The Vault, Old Friends for Sale, a decade of recordings from Prince's storied vault, curated by the artist that was released by Warner Brothers Records in 1999, features When the Lights Go Down and Extraordinary. Prince, Rogers, Nelson. Next is Mugamit, Loss of Life, a very MGMT, MGMT album, which the band describes as a group of songs about love and change first and foremost. Descriptors from the band include bold, flavorful, playful, sincere, optimistic, perceptive. Pressed on indie exclusive blue J opaque and pressed or housed in a gatefold jacket. Uh, next up, the housed. Apparently, I say it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the official soundtrack to the highly anticipated new film in the Hunger Games saga. The soundtrack was executive produced by nine time Grammy winning producer Dave Cobb and features mm -hmm. Can't Catch Me Now, written and performed by none other than Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo. There you go. Next Rodrigo. up is Can, live in Paris, 1973. This finds the band in magical form for a performance recorded at L'Olympia in Paris, marking the first of the live series to feature Damo Suzuki on vocals, rest in peace. The core lineup were joined by Japanese improviser and vocalist after they met after a chance encounter while Suzuki was busking in Munich. Lil Wayne, I Am Music, his first ever career-spanning compilation album, boasts his latest single, Can't Nobody, produced by Swiss Beats, Lollipop, Fireman, Go DJ, and other hits. Features Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, DMX, and more on Double Translucent Ruby Vinyl. Next up is Gracie Abrams and Aaron Desner, The Good Riddance Acoustic Shows. A series of songs performed live during their limited run of shows last September. The songs were recorded live at the McKittrick Hotel in New York, Riverside Revival in Nashville, and the Masonic Lodge in Los Angeles on Limited Magenta. Uh, next up, Motorhead, live at Donington Download Fest. This unique collection of live gems will now be heard by the world via carefully digitized transfers in a new series titled The Lost Tapes. The fifth volume in the series takes you on a visit to the spiritual home of British hard rock Donington to bring you the band's thunderous live set from the legendary Download Festival in June 2008 on double yellow vinyl. Next up we got Winona. Judd, that is. Her debut solo studio album was originally released in 92. Before this release, she recorded alongside her mother Naomi as The Judds, a duo which charted more than 20 country singles in the 80s and early 90s, limited edition Baby Pink. But wait, there's more. Here we go. Tell me why. Released in 1993, her second solo studio album features the hit singles Only Love, Is It Over Yet, Rock Bottom, and Girls With Guitars. And the title track, all top 10 hits on limited edition Ruby Red. My Winona. Dun, 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 <laughs> That's the song, right? It is. I once saw them at the Dome. Yeah. Not Winona. The Knack. Yeah. It's good, good times. Nice. Next up, Van Halen, right here, right now. Recorded in May 1992 as the band was wrapping up their massive world tour in support of their classic triple platinum album for unlawful carnal knowledge. The collection finds singer Sammy Hagar, guitarist Eddie Van Halen, drummer Alex Van Halen, and bassist Michael Anthony firing on all cylinders and delivering over two hours of Van Halen's signature hits. The collection has all 24 songs from the original CD, plus three additional live recordings, Pressed from the original master tapes on quadruple. What? That's a lot. Is miles. that four? That's four. Is that four? Uh, next up, Ace Freely, 10,000 volts. Rock and roll and heavy metal <laughs> simply wouldn't sound, look, or feel the same without Ace Freely. Ice. <laughs> Among hundreds of accolades, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted him in 2014 as a co founder and the original lead guitarist of Kiss. Guitar World named him in the top 15 of its 100 greatest heavy metal guitarists of all time. This indie exclusive limited edition comes pressed on Red Splatter. Freely, Ace, Kiss. Ice. Ice, Riley. Ice, Ice, Riley. Next, we've got Ghost Funk Orchestra, A Trip to the Moon. A Trip to the Moon sees GFO diving even deeper in the world's film, music, exotica, and psychedelic surf rock. The aim is to create a layered and collage listening experience with more elements than you could possibly pick out in a single listen. The guitars are fuzzy and flooded with spring reverb, and the horns are arranged in a studio big band fashion, pressed on sea glass and black swirl. They're amazing. If you ever get the chance to see them live, do it. Do it. Blackberry Smoke, Be Right Here, hailed as the reigning heavyweight champions of Southern rock by No Depression. The Atlanta-based quintet is back with their eighth studio album. This indie exclusive edition is pressed on beautiful gold bird wing. It is also pressed on 180 gram vinyl. 
next is Rita Marley Harambe. As wife of Bob, key member of his I3 backing vocal group and longtime recording artist in her own right, she was dubbed the queen of reggae in the wake of Bob's passing in 1981. This is her second solo album and includes the infectious Afro-Caribbean title track, the gorgeous Beauty of God, God's Plan, and a cover of Bob's Fussin' and Fightin'. Saw her live a couple times too. Nice. Fantastic. If you ever get a chance, I don't know if she's still out there touring, but do it. Uh, the Modern Sound of Betty Carter, this 1960 album's inventive Richard Weiss arrangements combined with Carter's uniquely masterful and modern vocals for fresh takes on standards. Highlights include a lively run-through with What a Little Moonlight Can Do, inspired scatting on On the Alamo, and a beautifully tender take on There's No You. This is a Verve by Request series featuring 180 gram vinyl and pressed at Third Man Records in Detroit, Michigan. Next up, Astrid Gilberto, Look at the Rainbow. This 1966 release is one of the jewels of her catalog and of the whole bossa nova canon. The orchestral backing perfectly complements her whispery, understated voice, especially on the title track and the sweet ballad, I Will Wait For You. Verb, Verb by Request Series features 180 gram vinyl press at Third Man in Detroit. Uh, next up, we've got the Art Pepper Quintet, Smack Up. This 1960 recording, whose album title presages the addiction that would soon offline the self-taught musician's career, features compositions written by fellow saxophonists. Uh, the new edition is released as part of the Contemporary Records Acoustic Sound Series on 180-gram vinyl pressed at QRP with lacquers cut from the original tapes by Bernie Grunman and is presented in a tip-on jacket. Is Jimmy Bond, it's somewhere over there, is, is Jimmy it? Bond James Bond? Could, could James be. James Bond in a jazz quintet? Wow. Well. All right. Last but not Emily least. is binging. You have to understand why she would say that. Because it's like really random that you would I'm even pick up on that. She is binging all of the all James of the Bond movies right now, movies. which I've seen before. My dad, hi dad, I know you're watching this, is a huge fan. So all my life I was exposed How to James Bond. How many have you watched now? How many I'm are there? On, I just, there we like just watched 40? Diamonds Are Forever last night. There's 28, I think. But yeah, it's really fun. They're... Are you becoming they, more misogynistic? Or are absolutely you, are you, not. Oh, okay, just check. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, um, it is a touch misogynistic. Just a few just, times, just a few a places. Touch, but they're really fun in their campy 70s-ness. Anyway, enough about me, because it's not what you're here for. Stan Getz and Bill Evans. What? No, I just said it is what they're here <laughs> You just want to hear me talk about movies? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Keep going, Emily. No. These guys are about <laughs> uh, Stan Getz, Bill Evans, previously unreleased recordings. These guys are about as close as musicians can get in terms of artistry, music, musical philosophy, and technique. Sorry, I lost my place. These sessions recorded in 1963. You could just read the phone book and it would be great. Uh, okay. It would be great. It would be so good. <laughs> These sessions recorded in 1963 perfectly blend their strong individual styles and collaborative sensibilities with both artists at the peak of their creative powers. Verve Acoustic Sound Series features transfers from the analog tapes and remastered on 180 gram vinyl and deluxe skatefold packaging. Whew. So Thank that's you. what we got Thank for you, you this week. Message us, call us, uh, bring us stuff. We buy stuff. Yeah. Our counters are pretty uh, <laughs> full stuff. right now, we but so much stuff this week. <laughs> we'll make room. Uh, we'll show you some of it. Yeah, we bought a thousand CDs, which Sean received pretty much by himself twice. One night, twice, <laughs> seven hundred of them yay, twice. Sean, Sean. is yay, Woo! Sean. Woo! So maybe we'll get those out on the floor uh, this weekend. We hope to. We're chipping away at it yeah. now. Uh, we bought a lot of great vinyl. Uh, massive restock today, which you didn't see yesterday. So we're going to show you that. Um, and if you want to stick around and watch that, feel free. Again, Record Store Day list. Go to recordstoreday.com. Let us know what you want. really helps us not go bankrupt and order stuff that we don't need. Um, so uh, I th think that's about it. We've already exceeded, by the way, the number of requests that we had for Record Store Day last year, which is yep. pretty amazing because last year was amazing, too. So uh, we're super excited about that. Uh, we hope to see you guys this weekend. Come on in. Bye. Bye.